Hello, my name is Lewis Shackleford, and I'm the Director of External Relations at the HIV Vaccine Trials Network, and I'm here with HIV.gov for HIV Vaccine Awareness Day. So with me today is my good friend and colleague, Director of the Division of AIDS, Dr. Carl Diefenbach. How are you doing, Carl? I'm doing really well. It's great to see you, Lewis. Great to see you as well. So. We're here to talk about HIV vaccines for HIV Vaccine Awareness Day. And so just to kick us off, why is it still important for us to have a safe and effective HIV vaccine? Lewis, we need a safe and effective HIV vaccine because that's the only way we can truly control this global pandemic. Currently, we have tools that are, um, are drug-based or antiretrovirals that are great for treatment and quite useful for prevention. But to really have equity and be able to control the global pandemic, we're going to need a safe, effective, and durable HIV vaccine that can be used in all ages from infants to adults. So Lewis, from your perspective um, in your role at um, in Seattle, what would the impact be of a safe, effective, and durable HIV vaccine? It's a really good question. And so when I go out and do education around HIV vaccine research, we hear a lot about the need to address HIV in communities of color, not just in the United States, but globally. Having a safe and effective HIV vaccine would have a tremendous impact on people both in the United States and abroad. We still have millions of new diagnoses of HIV globally. And even in the United States, thousands of people year over year still uh, are diagnosed with HIV. So having a safe and effective vaccine that can prevent people from getting HIV, that could be something that they take and last for years, uh, would have a tremendous impact, particularly for Black and Brown communities, both in the United States and globally. And that's not also to mention that we still see a large number of, of deaths related to HIV, both in the United States and globally. So we need to always understand that having an HIV vaccine is a matter of saving lives and improving the lives of many people that are underserved and disproportionately impacted. You're absolutely right about that. The health equity question and our goal for all HIV research is paramount. Absolutely. And so coming to a close, what are some of the things that get you excited about HIV vaccines? Considering your position, seeing all the research that you do, what gets you excited now about the future of future HIV vaccine? I think what really excites me is we understand now this idea of the sites of vulnerability, the parts of the HIV virus that cannot change. So as we go forward, we can build a vaccine that targets these sites of vulnerability, combine them into a vaccine, and provide the ability of the people we vaccinate to make the tools, the antibodies that we are seeking um, to that we know will protect people from acquiring HIV. So we can build the tools uh, that are little, little tiny pieces of the HIV virus, provide them to people, they can make the response and then be protected for life. And I think that is what excites me, is this vision of a vaccine that could be so incredibly effective based on the sites of vulnerability. I love the idea of us having long-term protection from HIV, because that will get us one step closer to ending this HIV epidemic. So with that, it's been great talking to you, Carl. I appreciate your time and I appreciate the space and this conversation with you. I really enjoy talking to you and I look forward to doing this again very soon.